and you must at no point be anxious about I anything. I love this verse. Be anxious for nothing. When we talk about anxiety, you're talking about being fearful, depression and, and stress and worry and all these things. You want something to work out and you know, see it to work out instead of a prayer. Where you start though? You start worry and you start fret. Work, family, health, social life, whatever it is, the Bible says, do not find yourself in a position of worry and fear at any point in time. But your request must quickly be made known to God. But your request, God. listen man, when you're going to take time or you're worry, simply do this. Make that issue that is causing a problem be made known to God. Make your request known quickly. Am I talking to the church? So instead of you taking an hour or two hours or a day and worry, take even a few minutes and say, Lord, right now, right now, I come before you and I put this situation, I put my children, I put my work, I put my co-workers, I put whatever is stressing me out, whatever is trying to, to, to bring me down to the ground, I'm putting it to you because I refuse to be anxious. When you're, when you're stressed out, sister come in, you put proper effort. You make sure, say, what? Everything become a problem. You make sure, say, you don't want to eat, you don't want to sleep, you don't want to hear no good news, you don't want to see no sunlight. You, when you're a worry man, you put a lot of effort in there. So Paul is saying that instead of doing that, I want you to do this. Just go to God. Pray. Entreat him with thanksgiving making your request known and the peace of god glory to god when you do this oh Hallelujah. glory to god since the, it's not a if now but now maybe i can tell you from experience mm -hmm. that i've been to the point of not stress but depression oh glory to god hey listen when we talk about depression we're talking about next level stuff it's more than just being stressed but i say to you since over the years i've learned that when you pray when you bring these things Hallelujah. to god and you put it to him as peter said that when you cast all your cares upon him why because he cares so you Paul is now saying that when you make your request known and you entreat him, guess what will happen? The peace of God. Hallelujah. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? The peace Thank that you cannot you get on a prescription from a doctor. The doctor give people pills for anxiety and then you take the pill for anxiety. Now you find, say, you start have diarrhea. Next thing you know, so when I, I now see good, all type of problems happen when you get all type of prescriptions. But when you pray, when Paul prescribes prayer, and you put prayer in place. The Bible says the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Go ahead, Ivan, this my watch. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, uh -huh. will keep your hearts and your thoughts and Glory. purposes on Jesus Christ. This is what the result of prayer. Prayer is a powerful tool. Can I talk to the church? Listen, yeah. when you pray in the midst of depression, you are defying the arts. When you talk about confusing the devil, confusing the devil is when you are expected to worry, to fret, to be anxious, and then you go bust a prayer. Devil say, well, I'm no, 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 no. This is unexpected. How are you going to be praying when you should be stressed out? How are you going to be praying when you should be going crazy? How are you going to be praying when you should not be eating food? But no, you're eating, you're drinking. Why? Because you say, oh, you see that thing that should be worrying me? Me give it to God already. Oh God. And because I gave it to him, I have no need to worry about it anymore. I am not anxious or anything because I've got the peace of God. Jesus. Somebody put your hands together for Thank the Lord. You, Lord.